Girl, Everybody it's packed out here tonight. Follow mm -hmm. the one line, please. I told you. IDs out. I need to see IDs. Thank you, ladies. Welcome to Punk Ave. Uh, excuse me. Hello? Can you move? What? Excuse me. Uh-uh. Oh my God. We, you ready to go? Girl, I've been ready. Well, hello. Can y'all? You guys. You guys. Oh, God. All 2020. All fucking 2020. Essentially, I just ruined y'all lives. <laughs> So oh, I, I just and I ruined my that shit. That's what you get. <laughs> and you actually wow. ruined my table, you whore. Wow. wow, you know it's a new year and I gotta wow. go in clean. Wow. wow. Sorry guys. Wow. Okay. Uh, wow. You'll be all right. Okay. Just, it'll, uh, it'll, yeah, it'll, you'll right. be okay. Okay. So I was at work. This is after I've been, I've been holidaying for the past month fully, and I was at work and my coworker uh, was telling me how she accidentally ordered like a big bag of sunflower seeds. <laughs> And I didn't really think nothing of it. I thought she meant like the regular store. You know, you know, store has a bigger package. Uh -huh. I thought mm -hmm. that size. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I just happened to turn around. And um, she, first of all, she kind of looks like Phyllis from The Office. I love her. She looks like Phyllis from The Office, though. So I turn around. I'm going to call her Phyllis. So I turn around and I look at Phyllis. Phyllis has like the biggest bag Right. of sunflower seeds I've ever seen and then I said to her I was like oh my god my friend loves sunflower seeds let me take this picture <laughs> of you so I can send it to her because I'm pretty sure she's never seen a bag never, this big ever <laughs> this is ever. ever oh my god Guinness world record big yeah so I took a picture or whatever and I sent it to Adriana she's like oh my god all those sunflower seeds like I, I was, expected I was, so I was like wow 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 God I see God in that bag blessings <laughs> that is a blessing so like I was thinking about it like a couple of minutes later i was thinking about it and i was like can i can i buy your your sunflower seeds from you and she was like huh i was like i'm gonna give it to adriana for christmas and she was like what i'm like no i was like this there and i didn't want to say the podcast i'm like i'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna regret that i did this i'm gonna regret that i did this but it just feels right to get it these. feels right it just it feels right i can't help it so I bought the big bag of sunflower seeds and it was in my desk because we had a tape. Mm -hmm. So it was in my desk for like three weeks and then finally I brought them home. So Merry Christmas. Bless you. I, I wasn't, I mean, wow. I was supposed to put a bow on them too. Wow. Fast. You know what? God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. <laughs> God knows. I'm going to regret that shit. <laughs> and I know. He don't I, come when you want him. I but know. he'll be there. This is like no. This bag is like that bag is I so can, big. <laughs> I can fucking watch at least two series of shows on Netflix and just binge watch and eat this shit. And now my digestive system might be a little fucked up. I just, but nonetheless, I'm blessed. I it's so, <laughs> and I'm gonna regret it. Man, that, that was the thing when I bought them. I was just you like, wow. Time was. I'm gonna hate that I did this. <laughs> Because I'm going to come over with this Cause, and, I, and I really originally was going to give it to him when she was leaving my house because I don't want to see them bitches in my house again. I never want to see this bag again. But I have a feeling I'm going to spend all 2020 with them. You are, because this is a big-ass bag. It is. You know, can you at least put them in a Ziploc? Like, can you not just come with a... Don't come with that big-ass bag every time. No, don't waste my life. It's all good. This is a blessing. You bless well, me. Wow. Merry wow. Christmas. Wow. I, I mean, I have uh, a beer in the car. Do you like Bud Light? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I wasn't really, prepared. I wasn't, I wasn't it's prepared. Okay. It's okay. I wasn't yeah, prepared. Shit really pay. I was like, I'm going to regret this. But here I am handing this lady my money. Listen, you know what? It's the little things in life. Oh, my God. I'm definitely going to regret this shit. <laughs> I'm letting y'all know. Like, halfway through it, I'm going to be like, I'm never buying this bitch shit again. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I really love sunflower seeds. I don't so know why. She gonna, and, and you know what? She's going to crack a lot of way through. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> it didn't have to be this way. I'm sorry. Because the smart thing is for her to leave them at my house so they'll already be here. But I'm not going to let her do that. No. So, no, because I got some shows to watch. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. hopefully, well, exactly. I, would say hopefully, bag bag. I would say hopefully you'll finish it, but I'll be lying to myself. No. Well, you never know. <laughs> Them shows be real that good. That shit be dying. What? I was just like, can I buy that from you? She's that like, really? Right? I'm like, yeah. Phyllis, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, and when I show her the picture, she's going to get her fucking life. John, she's so no, sweet. No, seriously. Tell her I said thank she you. Know, and she was there because she thought it was a small bag. I'm like, how you fuck up eight pounds with a, a bag? I'm going to fuck this up. That's, just, no that's just like a baby. 
Like, yeah, on your hip. Yeah, like I like I was mad because then I didn't even bring like nothing to carry it in. So I had like a little clutch and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta carry the bag. This is big grams. Yeah, that's out OZs. Yeah. Ounces. <laughs> Ounces. <laughs> that's why you say that. Ounces. <laughs> Bless. So how was I haven't seen you forever? I know I am. How was your Thanksgiving? How was your life? So Thanksgiving, I was in uh Hawaii. So And that that is why we didn't tape, guys. Yes. So tell no, Tell your story. no. Uh, well, I mean, that's well, how essentially why right, it's how like we, that's how we, we met. Yeah, and then after that, yeah. I started holidaying. Yeah. I holiday so heavy. I've been at every Christmas and karaoke. I've been at every Christmas sweater, ugly sweater, get your sweater, reindeer pop. I've been at so many functions that the no. night Christmas Eve, I was like, "What the fuck is Christmas? How? <laughs> what, is it, what day is it? No, <laughs> for real. Like, how do you?" I w- I'm so tired of the holidays that I think I'm going to spend all of January sitting down. My account shows I holidayed. My body feels like I've holidayed. Mm. I've been drunk enough to holiday. Mm. I holidayed. And I've holidayed. This might have been the hardest holiday I've done. Well, you look good. Well, thank y'all. But I've well, You holidayed. look good doing it. I've holidayed a lot. You I've look hol- good doing I've, it. I've holidayed since literally... The night before I went to or- Orlando, I went to New mm-hmm. Smyrna. I technically, I was in New Smyrna Beach, Florida for Christmas. But the sec from when I went to Florida, which was before Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. well, Wednesday, till legit se- Sunday morning, I've holidayed mm. in some variation. I'm talking about poinsettias. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the flowers. I'm talking about poinsettias, the, the drinks. Drink. Okay, I'm talking about Bailey's and Kahlua. I'm talking about eggnogs. The reason Mariah Carey's number one right now is because of my fucking Christmas list. You know how many times I done heard that goddamn song? You know how many times I heard Santa Baby? Like, bitch, I've holidayed down. Down to the day. Down to my account showing it. I was just like, oh. <laughs> no. I ain't got no choice but to sit down. But, no, um, so my brother, which I'm glad that I went because he just found out that he's actually getting ready to move. I don't, know, just, I don't know. Every time you get ready to leave to see your stories, I always think the shit finna go left. It's like he actually just found out. I was like, oh my God, he got the cancel. Like, no. I'll be ready to go all the way no. left. Okay, no. so he's moving. So, yes, hell, he's moving. We're so. moving where? Uh, Arizona. Which is great because it's Arizona cute. is on my bucket list to visit. Yeah, Arizona's visit. cute. Um, so, you know, my older brother, he lives in Hawaii and uh, he works out there. And. So, you know, he was just like, hey, we're going to go do we're going to do Thanksgiving in Hawaii. I was like, cool. So we got out there. My mom actually got to go and her husband got to go. And it was me, my mom and her husband, my brother. And it's very non-traditional. I mean, I did stuffed chicken. They did some, they roasted, I mean, they uh, grilled some salmon. Like it was very. I like, I like random Thanksgiving. It was very random. And uh, I literally stayed on the beach every day. I was there for seven days. Um, every day I went to the beach and I swam in the ocean, which was just, I loved it. I, and you know, and I guess like now I look back like, damn, I really like, I love nature. I love the ocean. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. I love being outside. And that shit was just, I was just in my element, girl. I ain't brush my hair. I barely brush my teeth. Okay. I was just living, you know, I was just living as a human. I was a human. You know, I was going around telling people aloha, mahalo. Okay. You know, I was just like, I was a part of, like, I was, the a, culture. Part, I was a part of the culture, you know? Yeah. And that just made me feel one with the universe. I don't know. I can't explain it, but it was, a, it was a great time. Um, that was phenomenal. And I'm glad that I went because at first I wasn't going to go, but I'm glad that I went because now that I know my brother's actually moving away, I don't I, I don't know if I would ever be able to afford to go back to Hawaii. I mean, <laughs> trips are TV. always free when you ain't got no place, when you have a place to stay. Yeah. And that where he lives, it's a very um, uh, urbanized location. So everything is really, really expensive. Um, food, I, I, everything is expensive where my brother lives. So. Um, and the only thing I really had to pay for was just my, you know, food and whatever drinks expenses, but shit, still, that shit was like ridiculously overpriced, but you know, went in Rome, 
do as the Romans. So, and but nonetheless, I had fun. I saw waterworks. I mean, the fireworks. They have fireworks every fucking Friday night. They do a luau and they have hula dancers. Um, it Hawaii is actually like if you just like culture, Hawaii is a really great place to visit. Um, just for the simple fact that. Is it's it's a part of the U.S. but it's totally not. Yeah, because you know I read Janet Mock's book, mm-hmm. redefining mm-hmm. herself, myself, something like that. Janet Mock is a transgender mm-hmm. woman, and she originally was from uh, Hawaii, mm-hmm. and she had a lot of positive things mm-hmm. to say about Hawaii's culture and their acceptance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I remember that like kind of stuck with me. Just very, just like you don't know, worry, be happy. Akuna yeah, Matata, a very Akuna Matata, very just like. You know, girl, when I tell you I did not brush my hair, my hair was half curly, half straight. I'm literally, and my brother, he, his place was right across the street from this beach. And the beach was gorgeous. And it wasn't a, like, super crowded beach to where, so my brother, like, lived maybe, maybe like 20, 30 minutes away from all the tourist hotels. Okay. The tourist beaches. So where we stay, a lot of the locals. Locals went to these beaches so i mean it wasn't very crowded and the water was just the water was see-through and like you could walk out probably maybe three four five hundred feet into the water into the ocean and you're like waist like chest deep Mm -hmm. so i'm just like whoa but then you know i kept thinking damn what's the shark in here Mm -hmm. like i gotta swim fast but um but no, it was like a really great time and I just really just like they just don't care. Like they like whatever you do, you do it. Like there was these women, I mean, they were I mean, and no, and I'm not I'm knocking big girls. But they were big. Okay? Them I, I I said I'm fucking with it. These girls, they had their bikini on. That's what but that's what Janet, Janet Mock said about just like the culture and very just like you do what you do like it was old people paddle boarding oh i mean and that's what i love to see like that's what really got me because at first i was a little scared to get into the ocean but when i saw all these like older people just Mm -hmm. like walking into the water they had their little water caps on and their goggles and they just dove into the water i said i want to be like that i want to be like them Shit. Like, and you know, they just live in their life. They had their little surfboards. That's how the girls, that's how the people was at the uh, beach house we was at. I'm like, "Mm." yeah. But hey, I can't swim. So I can't swim. I can. Well, I can't. I can't. I can't even swim to save my fucking life. Well, I can't swim in the ocean because it's the currents are strong. So for my Thanksgiving, my mom rented a look. A luxurious house. Apparently, we can't afford it, which she was right. Once we figured out how much the cost, it was like one point. Two million. Beautiful right. house. It was on um it was on a, a, a lake kind of river, but the ocean was across the street, so it mm-hmm. all kind of ran into mm-hmm. each other. Mm-hmm. And so um Florida, everything's first of all, I don't trust no water in Florida. Like when you're a kid from Florida, you're trained to think everything has an alligator in it. I don't care. It's a, a pool. It's like all the stories in Florida be like, mm-hmm. I went to my pool. Because when gators look for water, they look for any type of water. So it, it's been stories where people have went into their regular pool and the gator has been in their regular mm-hmm. pool. So I don't I do not do that shit. But it was like, when you go outside, there was people paddleboarding. And the crazy part was, if you got far, far enough into like the lake, the middle of the lake was four feet. So you could stand mm-hmm. up. And I was seeing people mm-hmm. stand up mm-hmm. in it. But I don't... Once again, I'm a person who can't swim, so I don't want to... You don't want to get caught by the draft. I don't mm-hmm. want to get caught mm-hmm. in the place that ain't four feet. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. I can't swim. Mm-hmm. And the water was murky, and I don't trust Florida water, but either way, my cousins went swimming. They got beautiful fish. They, that means they threw them all back or whatever, because they kind of was just fishing for the hell of fishing. And um, my mama tried to get us to do paddle boarding, but I kind of was just like, I really can't swim. And I don't, this water's really murky because mm-hmm. I'm a person mm-hmm. I do like, I, I think that might be one of my 2020 goals is to learn how to swim mm-hmm. because I do like to jet ski and I've done water stuff, mm-hmm. but it was just, that water wasn't clear enough we, for me yeah. to know what the hell yeah. I was looking mm-hmm. at. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. once again, it's Florida and gators. Mm-hmm. So, um, mm-hmm. the house was, the house was gorgeous. The house had like, was it five bed, five, six bedrooms. 
Didn't um, you have an elevator? Didn't you tell me you had an elevator? Yeah, yeah, because it was three sto- three stories. It had an elevator, and then you could actually on the side of it was like um, a stairwell, and you can actually sit up on the roof, and the roof had like a deck where you can mm-hmm. you're literally sitting on the roof looking at the beach, and um, I mean gorgeous house. So I, but the thing is too, it was in the. I'm a social loner, so after a while, to me, it'd be too many people, and I have a very big family, Mm -hmm. so it went from, like, it was already a lot of us staying in the house, like, me and my mom and my niece shared a room, my little brother had a room, my older brother had a room, my cousin had a room with her niece, Mm -hmm. um... My I had a room downstairs. I had another cousin that had another room. Like it was a lot. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it was cool. I had a great time. And plus, my mom has siblings in. Um, they're from Jersey. She has siblings on her dad's side. Mm-hmm. So this was the first time I had seen them since I had been a kid. Mm-hmm. So and I always said I like wanted an aunt that I could like mm-hmm. shoot the shit with and like say the word shit because mm-hmm. my family, for the most part, with the exception of my mom, my family's a very um, conservative. Not even they're not conservative. They were they just regular black religious people. So it's but so we were trained not to go that far. The younger generation is a little bit flexible, Mm -hmm. but like we came from a space when they were really saved and they Mm -hmm. really didn't do nothing. They weren't even wearing pants. You couldn't even say lie. Lie. Yeah, you can't say lie. They weren't wearing at that time. They like they're now they wear pants now. But when we first started coming up, they wear pants. They wear lipstick. They wear hoop earrings. They didn't go to the Mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, and like I said, I my mom is a young mom, so we came in like a different era. So, of course, they've grown out of a lot of that stuff. But um, I would say I wanted an aunt that I can, if I said shit, the world wouldn't end. Yeah. And my mom's sister's like that. Mm-hmm. Like, it was funny, yeah. like an aunt that was just, and I said, I, was, I just want an aunt that I can be like, man, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. And, it, and it won't be like, mm-hmm. you're going to hell. And she was that aunt because we, me and her, went to the liquor store with another one of my cousins, nice. and you know, so it was, it was good to see. A, I, have a, I have a huge family, so it was good to see my family. So how did your soda? Because I know that you had posted that so, you were so purchasing the non-alcoholic beverages. So here's the thing. My family, I guess at some point, families buy like okay. So I have a big family. So usually it'll be like the parents would chip in for their little sector of family. Mm-hmm. So then I realized you get older and who's chipping in for you? Nobody. No one. So I was excited because my mm-hmm. grandma had apparently mm-hmm. sent out a list and was basically asking people who were like over the age of like 21, <laughs> like, what are you bringing to Thanksgiving? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so like from jump, I knew I wanted to bring the sodas. I don't know. I chose sodas because I thought, it'd be, well, sodas are cheaper and I didn't mm-hmm. want to cook. Mm-hmm. So, um, I created a list. Yes, you did. And... You printed um, it out. I did I did print it out. And the thing is, I think that Capri Sun type juices should be for people <laughs> who are, you know, 10 and under. Mm-hmm. I think... Well, 12 and under, I think I said. 13 and up, you're allowed to get a soda. Mm-hmm. 30 and up mm-hmm. should be iced tea. Mm-hmm. So, I, I printed out a list. You have to put your name, the type of drink mm-hmm, you got. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, if you got, like, an iced tea, I need to know that you were over Checks 30. Yeah. If you, got, if you got a Capri Sun, I need to know yeah, you're a baby. <laughs> I need to know you're a baby. Yeah, and, right. you know, so I, I gave a list to my grandma. She said she put it on the refrigerator. Because I said everybody get two drinks apiece. I think that's fair. That yeah, is. Two drinks? You should want one for as you're eating. And then the one for your to-go plate. Yeah. I... I that's Thank fair. You. Follow me. Apparently, everybody was like, we're never coming back to Thanksgiving <laughs> because why only two drinks? I'm like, wow. Disrespectful. And then my auntie was like, well, I don't drink none of that. I drink water. I was like, well, honey, the refrigerator dispenses water. Why would I bring water bottles? But I made an exception. I got I got a packet of water because you know what? I'm a family person. And, and you're for the team. I'm for the team. I'll get you, I'll get you some water. No Come problem. On. I'll get you. Water, yeah. baby. Water, baby. Water. No one <laughs> signed my list. I'm still confused. So I don't know where my sodas actually went. I'm so I actually texted my grandma the other day. I was like, I don't know where my money went from Thanksgiving because nobody <laughs> told me who got what sodas. And I would I curated that list. Let me tell y'all something. I had strawberry soda. <laughs> I had no, I did. I had like I had like the best <laughs> sodas for the food. I had pe- I had got Pepsi products. So it was like Pepsi, Mountain Dew. I had a um. Let's see. Did you have checks? 
Sierra, no, Sierra Miss. Well, Pepsi was like the on brand. Oh. Checks are the off brand. Y'all don't, y'all don't have check here, do you? No. So I got checks is um no, I know it's a it's a Florida it, thing. Florida, Georgia, it's it's got sense. Mm-hmm. I sat in that check aisle for 30 minutes trying to mm-hmm. Hey, what y'all think? Should I get strawberry or orange? You really curious. I this really, business. I was like, because you know, I was like, that orange do hit when it's real cold, but you know, strawberry. Mm-hmm. And then check and it out. Goes good with. Check it like a four for ten. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, bitch, we got four. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, but don't get no Cokes because grandma hate mm-hmm. Coke checks. See, I'm mm-hmm. thinking of the family. Mm-hmm. My grandma don't like when you get like regular, like, mm-hmm. don't get no, don't get no Sprite check. Right. You, because when you get a Sprite check, it's called like lemon lime anyway. Mm-hmm. And we get a Coke check, it, mm-hmm. you know, it's never, Cola. yeah, yeah. So I was like, nah. So I had got a strawberry, mm-hmm. I got an orange, I got a, I think I got like the raspberry lemon, something. Mm-hmm. Either way, I picked up these perfect flavors that I sent in that the aisle with the, with the, with the menu. Oh, you wow. Know what? Wow. Oh, peach. Because wow. my cousin said it. My cousin's like, and then I added that to my, my rules. Mm-hmm. My cousin was like, yo. Tell everybody they can only get one peach. I'm like, you thinking? Because that's that's only fair. That's you thinking. Mm-hmm. Bitches only get one peach. Y'all mm-hmm. can't snatch two. Mm-hmm. You know. And then my grandma said she put it on her refrigerator. And then she told me somebody threw it in the garbage. I don't know if she threw it in the garbage or if somebody else did. But I really I felt disrespected about my sodas. I didn't disrespect nobody food. I came in. I, that's 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 hard earned money. Down the drain. Down the drain. Because you didn't want to tell me who the fuck got what fucking sodas. Wow. Wow. The disrespect. The dis- you know what? So next year, I'm just going to get two liter <laughs> RCs. So you bitches, you should have thought about that. I tried to give y'all a buffet. I drinks. did. So now we're just going to have cola RCs. <laughs> I tried to do y'all. I tried to do right by y'all. I really, I did. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe if they do good this, if they do good this time around, maybe they deserve uh-huh. a, an upper echelon. Uh, maybe a cocktail. Maybe. Maybe they deserve all high-end sodas. So, no. What I found out is you they niggas don't deserve, deserve two liters <laughs> of RC Cola. Two. Two. Two liters. And a Hawaiian punch. <laughs> and only one the flavor. Red. And that's it. You know, that happy Thanksgiving. You did it to yourself. I hate to see it. Hate to see it. You think so? <laughs> Waste my fucking money. You got me fucked up. You, you, you had me fucked up. I went early too on Thursday. I went so early. I was mad my cousin didn't have the ice because I wanted my stuff to be chilled. I was like, you ain't got the ice yet? Bitch, when you posted that shit. No, my videos look, no, fuck them. They tried it. No, I was cracking the fuck up. I and mean, then, I know I FaceTimed you. I asked you where your list was at. You said, man, my grandma threw that shit away. <laughs> but it's okay. You know what? I'm over it now. I just sometimes you have to meet people at their level, and RC two liters is their level. <laughs> RC two liters? Is there a Hawaiian punch? And they get one Hawaiian punch for all the fucking kids. Now. Now what? And Hawaiian punch never chills. I don't care how long it's just refrigerator. That shit never chills. <laughs> Because it's, it's okay. just water and sugar. And but it's, well, that's what you asked for. <laughs> when you got Pepsi's and Mountain Dews and strawberry right. checks and peach checks and water bottles and iced tea, and then my auntie had the dirty disrespect me. I got real iced tea, not not that one. I was like, oh, 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 oh. oh that's just... cute. These RCs gonna pop next year. Little do you niggas know. <laughs> Merry fuck. Oh, happy Thanksgiving, bitch. Got gotcha. y'all. <laughs> Just Coke, too. I ain't even gonna try. Cola. Yeah. Oh, yeah. RC Cola, because, you know. Y'all and, you know, and y'all know the second you open up an RC Cola 2 liter, that shit's flat. flat. So, y'all better get y'all your... Got y'all, y'all got... Uh, 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 five? 30 minutes? You got about 15 minutes on a good RC Cola. So, good luck. Because, okay, how, how tight you screw the top? That shit will never... That shit never... Again, <laughs> like... It, you only, it one time. Yeah, you only get one from them. Cause you know what soda do like will hold it for a minute? It's Pepsi product. No, yeah. Coke will do it. Yeah. Mountain Dew will do it, and Pepsi do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so y'all got RC colors next year, and it's okay. For everybody, it's fine. I even buy the cups. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck to you. I don't even feel bad. And I'm gonna buy that bullshit that's ice. Yeah. This is so well. I'm not even. I, I want to go to buy the cups because I'm I'm buying the two liters. I don't even have nothing to do with the ice. So I hope somebody shows up with the ice. Or we're just drinking hot RC colas. You know what? Sometimes you just meet people. Yeah, where, 2020. I'm meeting people where they at. <laughs> Family and all. You want to disrespect my Pepsi's? <laughs> you want to disrespect my Mountain Dews? 
You want to meet? You want to treat me like an RC call ass bitch? I got you. I hate to see it. Hey, and I do. I thought more of them. They didn't think enough of themselves. So now we're here. Think more of yourselves, friends. That, that's what I learned at Thanksgiving. God bless. Think more of yourselves. You, if you want to be an RC level person, I can meet you. There. I can meet you there. You know, that's that's perfectly fine. Enjoy. That was a, that was yeah. a, that was great. Yeah, you niggas better eat your food fast because shit gonna be flat by the time you get to your cornbread. I don't I don't know what to tell you. Eat your shit fast. You have no chance in hell of having a a, a, a fizzy drink through that whole meal. So figure out what you want. You want to drink your drink first, or you want to eat your food first? Because either way, you drink your sugar and fucking toxins. Merry goddamn Christmas. Jesus. So how was your Christmas? Um. Oh God. So here's the thing. Christmas Eve. The house, the, the family I usually go to their house mm-hmm. on Christmas Day. I'm a funny person during the holidays anyway. If I'm not home with my family, I can stay home by myself. But like, mm-hmm. I'm not like a person. And I'm not lonely either because people be like, don't you be lonely? I'm like, no, I'll be chilling. Mm-hmm. Listen, I harass people all day on my Facebook. So I be chilling and I be watching TV. So the house I usually go to had Christmas Eve because they mm-hmm. weren't doing too much for Christmas Day. They were just mm-hmm. going to go to like their extended family mm-hmm. houses. So it was a whole meal. It was ham, it was baked chicken, it was dairy oh, rice, it was macaroni uh-huh. and cheese. It was life. A party. That was like when I decided that Christmas had been going on for too long. Because mm-hmm. I, I looked at the bottom of my cup and I was just like, wow. I think I've partied every day since November, like 20th. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'm not going to come back over here for Christmas. I'm just going to stay in my own home, mind my own business, in my own pajamas. Binge watch all these Christmas movies that's on my DVR because I love Christmas. And so I fixed the plate. Now, here's the thing. Before I went over there, I had already ate, so I wasn't hungry. So it's not even like I even ate the food while I was there, which the food looked bomb. So when it was time to fix my plate, I had I had doubled my plate because I wanted my plate to be sturdy Mm because I knew I was about to put a bunch of stuff Mm -hmm. on it. So then I had seen the ham and then I had switched the ham and the ham juice. Mm-hmm. I was like, mm-hmm. you dipped like, it. Yeah, I do. Because you want it to be like a you little moist. You want it to be moist. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's supposed to be like kind of drying out. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was just like flip, 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 mm-hmm. flip, flip, flip. Make sure you got all. You all got it, yeah, I was like, yeah. I got all of it. And then I put the ham on my plate, right? So then I'm like, oh, look at that chicken. And it had like some grilled chicken. I'm like, come mm-hmm. on, grill. And then I put a piece of chicken on my mm-hmm. plate. Mm-hmm. And then I had put some macaroni. And then I was like, I ain't know if it was going to be hitting or not. So I didn't put that much macaroni. So mm-hmm. I put enough, though, to be like, if it was hitting, I would have been good. Mm-hmm. So I put some macaroni and cheese on my plate. And then I was like, oh, my God, is that dirty rice? So I put some dirty mm-hmm. rice on my plate. And I was like, damn, I ain't got no vegetable. Boom, open the pot. It was greens. Mm-hmm. I fucked some greens. Boom. Mm-hmm. Pop. And I drained them holes. Like, mm-hmm. I had, I kept hitting it on the side because mm-hmm. I didn't want the water. So I let. Did you get I, a little piece of bacon or a ham? It was a little ham in there. It was a little. Mm-hmm. little I think about them in Turkey. I, I, you know, I didn't never got to eat the plate, turkey. so I don't know. You know, sometimes people do turkey. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure because I never got a chance to eat the plate. I heard. So I, I put the. But I drained them greens mm-hmm. so good. Like, I've never drained greens that good. It's like I rinsed them out like a. Like, like a, a cow. Like a washcloth. Yes. So I'm like, wow. So it's potato salad. And I was like, damn, that's fucked up because I'm about to remove my potato salad from this I love plate. Potato salad. And this was the thing. I don't know about everybody else. I like when people chop eggs on top mm-hmm, of the potato mm-hmm, salad mm-hmm, and then put paprika mm-hmm. on top. Oh my God, that's like orgasmic to me. So I looked and I was like, wow, eggs and paprika on top of this potato salad. Somebody knew what the fuck they were doing. Wow. So I was like, hey, girl. Mm-hmm. it's so much work when I have to remove my potato salad off the plate mm-hmm. to heat my plate mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. can you just give me like a plastic mm-hmm. bowl or something do you mm-hmm. do you happen to have one mm-hmm. it's just like I do so then I love the eggs and the paprika so I did two big scoops mm-hmm. of the potato because so it was a big pan because it. it's good yeah because it, I knew it was going to hit I knew it was going to hit and it, it was a big pan it looked like nobody was eating it so I was like y'all ain't going to miss this mm-hmm. so then I wrapped my foil I put it in my little grocery bag I tie it Twice, really tight, so it won't mm-hmm, shift. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, Merry Christmas, y'all. If I don't see y'all on New Year, Happy New Year. Mm-hmm. My Uber's here. Mm-hmm. Ride home in the Uber. Get out the car, come in my house. Do my usual, take my wig off. Take my shoes off, take my bra off. And then it dawned on me. I was like, God, you know. I had no plate. I called my Uber driver, he didn't answer. Because <laughs> he was eating it. 
Uh, I gave him a one star just in case he did. I don't know if he ate my plate, but somebody had to pay for me not having my plate. So now I had to rate you at a two because I want my plate. So then I went to bed. because Well, I called my friend. I was jealous. So I'm going to bring you a plate tomorrow because I really was distraught. I'm like, I'm not even home for Christmas. I can't even eat no Christmas food. Like the whole drama. drama. I was drunk as well, y'all. So I go to bed. I wake up. And I'm like, I wake up like this. I woke up tight as shit because I was so mad about that plate. But what? And this is after, hours after the fact that I still was mad about my plate. What I did realize was... I didn't realize, well, I didn't realize that everything is closed during Christmas because I never had to search for Christmas food before. Mm -hmm. So then it dawns on me that every Christmas movie, every Christmas themed episode is people go to eat Chinese food for Christmas mm -hmm. when they when mm -hmm. they mess up their Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, let me call y'all Mings. I call y'all Mings. They're open. I go up there for Christmas. They're packed. Mm -hmm. and she was like yeah Christmas Eve and Christmas Day are our busiest days I'm like really and I was like y'all thought the TV shows and movies were lying she was like no everybody comes and get Chinese food because we're like one of the only people open mm -hmm. so I spent Christmas Day eating Chinese food with this husband who I, I didn't know it was like a husband and a mistress he snuck out his house to meet the mistress for a couple of drinks at the bar so I talked to them for a minute because he was asking me, should he go home with something? I'm like, sir, if you left your house and you're going to the store, you got to come back with ice or something, sir. And I was like, well, how long you been gone? He was like, 30 minutes. I'm like, well, you got to go back with ice and milk. Oh so, yeah. God. Yeah. And then she tried to be my friend. Left, and I was like, man, I, uh, I don't want to talk Yeah. I was like, I put my earbuds in. I was like, I mean, I like y'all drama, but uh, relax. Sis. Yeah. Really, we're not friends. <laughs> we don't really. Because she's like, so where are you? Because uh, I didn't want to go visit other people's houses. Not because I'm with somebody's husband, sis. Oh, my. Yeah, but he, I mean, he, 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 she, they were cocktailing. Mm. They was getting them cocktails in and that. He was probably there for like 40 minutes. Mm. He did what he had to do. Yeah, she, she looked like she was a peas. <laughs> she looked the peas. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, I was kind of pissed about, because I was really mad about that meal, but... Oh, oh, I had a really I had a really good holiday season. I told you, I, I, I've Christmas to karaoke. I've ugly sweatered. I've toy drives. I had my own Christmas party. I had my own after after Christmas party. I had my own after Christmas party brunch. I've had so much shit. I've went to so much shit. I'm so happy this season's over. It is. But I had a great time. That's good. That's good. And if you guys haven't realized, this episode is nothing but recovering from 2019. So indeed. And I will give y'all a woman crush for Wednesday, but I don't have one. So to all the single moms that are stressed out. No, for real. To all the single moms that like make Christmas happen. And you ain't know how you're going to make Christmas happen. God you're bless. my woman crush Wednesdays. Because you know, my mom told me a story. We had really good Christmases when I grew up. And it wasn't until like a couple of years ago. My mom said she used to be stressed out around Christmas. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah. She was like, I didn't want y'all to have bad Christmases because I was a single parent. Because mm -hmm. my mom had us so young, we grew up with her. Mm -hmm. So, it was a time where, I mean, she, we thought she had a whole bunch of money, but she was just like, nah, sis. Wow. And we really, my Christmases, we cleaned up. So, wow. shout out to the single moms that's willing and dealing and, and making checks and balances happen just so they can, you know, have Christmas with the kids. How was your Christmas? What did you get? What did Santa bring you? Santa brought me a new pair of tires. You know what? Set of tires. That's so, an adult gift. It is. Because I... Um, so, you know, my best friend and I, we've been best friends since we were like 15. And, you know, her husband is... I mean, I always told him we're a package deal. Mm -hmm. So, whatever. Um, so, the little girl, her daughter, she's 13. And... Basically, you know, she always makes these comments how she wants to be just like me. She wants to she wants to drive a rogue, like just a car just like mine and, you know, just all this little shit. Right. So, again, she's 13. And so I my best friend and I had told my best friend that I was going to come down there for Christmas. Um, but it got to be kind of late in the week. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, you know what? my tires are bad because my my tire light had came on and then I was looking at my tire and I'm like, damn, I'm going to have to buy some new fucking tires. Oh, the, the silver thing was out. Yeah, the uh, the low tire pressure oh. thing came on on the car. 
And then, I, you know, and I know my tires were fucked up. So I'm just like looking at my tires. I'm like, man, I ain't going to even try to push it. Like, I'm just not going to be able to go to Corpus for Christmas. Mm-hmm. So I told her. And so I guess she told her daughter that I wasn't coming. So her daughter FaceTimes me. She's just like, why aren't you coming for Christmas? I said, well, Madison, as an adult, we have to take a responsibility and uh, for our, you know, we have to be responsible. And right now I cannot drive my car to Corpus because it's dangerous and I don't get paid till next week. So I'm just. <laughs> oh, you know, adult conversation. I had to. Because she, doesn't, she didn't understand. And so because, you know, she was just and then her first response was, well, why don't you just rent a car? And I was just like, once again, I don't get paid to next week, Madison. <laughs> So I said, the money that I could use to rent a car is the money that I could use to buy new tires. I said, I have to buy new tires. And, and you know, I regardless, be, is. I said, I would rather be safe than sorry. And she was just like, I'm going to tell James to buy you some tires. Who James? James is the husband. Oh. And I was just like, Madison, shut your ass up. <laughs> You're not going to tell James shit. And she was just like, no, I'm going to tell James to buy you some new tires. And I said, Madison, don't do that. Like, I don't need James to buy me any new tires. I'm fine. I told you I get paid next week. You know, I'll come down at the end of January. Not a big deal. Girl, I took maybe a 30-minute nap. My best friend is calling me, calling me, calling me. So I'm just thinking she just wants to talk about nonsense. So I'm like, you know, pressing decline. She keeps calling. She sends me a text message. She says, you need to call me back ASAP. So I'm like, oh, shit. Something, Something happened, happened with the kids. Something happened with the babies. Oh, my God. What happened? She goes, girl, I don't know what Madison said to James, but you need to get your ass a discount tire right now. <laughs> That's so sweet. And I was like, what? And she's like, I know you're not going to accept it, but just get the discount tire right now. James is on the phone with them. And they're gonna, he's going to get you some new tires for Christmas. I was like, no. Like, God damn. Like, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm tired, good. Man, I'm tired. And now, too. And yes. And so she was just like, girl, if I was you, I'd just take it and run. Take it and run. Take it and run. <laughs> so I ended up going to discount tires. Sure enough, they he Did, bought yeah, the me tires. four brand new tires. And so I, I called I my best friend. I was just like, what did she say to him? She's like, girl, I have no clue what she said to him. Said to him, But all I know is that he called me. He asked me what was wrong with you. And I told him that you just couldn't come down because you had to get new tires and you had to wait till your next paycheck. And he was just like, fuck it, Merry Christmas. That's sweet. And I was just like, girl, I, girl, I was crying. Girl, I was in discount tired, just looking at my car being put on a little thing. <laughs> like I was just crying. I was like, oh my god. I love gifts like, like that. Like, like I'm, and he, and then you know, I sent him a message, and I was just like, you know, James, thank you so much. I called him Jimbo, and I was like, thank you, Jimbo. You know, I really appreciate it. Like, I totally was not expecting that. Like, I didn't expect for you to pay for anything. He's just like, I know how hard you work, so it's fine. Yeah. And I was like, Jimbo, damn! <laughs> Tears. So, so the little girl thought that I wasn't coming. So I told her mom, I was like, well, don't tell her that like I'm not coming. So Or don't tell her that I am I'm coming. coming. Mm-hmm. So when I got there, uh, I you know I rang the doorbell. And so she opens the door, and she, her eyes just got real <laughs> She goes, oh, my God, it's a Christmas miracle. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh children <laughs> oh, I just thought that was so I just I, you know it's just like those little things kids I mean, are sweet like it was just so and I said Madison what did you tell James she said oh I just said he just needed some money to just <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like oh my god I was like you love me don't you she's like well, kids I just, are... she's like I just wanted you here and, you little know, kids are sweetest that's how uh, Kita and Monique's kids yeah. are like if I open the door <gasps> It is. Yeah. Like, hey, like, no matter how bad your day is. Yes, yes. It is like, I'm yes. not big enough. You can't pick me up like you used to. And I'm like, I'll come here, little baby. You want me to pick you up like a baby? Yes. So, I stand, sis. Yes. I stand, so, Haley, because um, when Haley turned 21, I remember some somebody, was, I ain't going to say who it was. Somebody, somebody was trying to talk. Haley had me on FaceTime and somebody was trying to get my attention. Mm-hmm. Haley takes off running. I'm like, well, Haley, why did you run? She was like, you look like you didn't want to talk to them. <laughs> no me sis no me. Yes. <laughs> no me sis yes so um but yeah that was my christmas and you know um it's just like you know and i tell my best friend like it's it's hard for me because like 
you know, like I don't, I don't get, I don't get gifts. So it's like, I don't, I've never, like Jen is probably the only person that really gives me gifts. And when she does give me gifts, it's like, you know, it's very like simple stuff mm -hmm. like that I could use around my house or it's like candles or face masks or something, you know, like that. So, you know, I was just telling her, I was just like, girl, this year, I ain't got it. Like, I just don't got it, like, at all. And she was like, girl, I don't care. And I just always feel so weird because, like, I hate when people give me stuff and then I don't have nothing to give them. Girl, that like, shit don't matter. I mean, because people, at the end of the day... People really should be giving you stuff out the goodness of their heart. And I know I know, my 2020 rule is to meet people where they are, and that is true. But yeah. there's certain people that are users, and there's certain people who genuinely just don't have it. And yeah. there's a very big difference between the two. Yeah. So yeah. My, like my 2020 goal, because I'm a person who is super... <laughs> I... I'm ready to, like... I want everybody to have a good time. That's, right. that's, that's my... Yeah. my and, like, it's my mama genetics, too. My mom's very... That time out whoever the fuck was oh, on goddamn oh, instagram oh. so i posted my mom calls me and my brother's broke every time she gets a chance <laughs> like every it, it doesn't matter like even on thanksgiving she was like so i'm gonna get this house i'll just pay for it because i know you guys can't afford it it's like all right bitch we get it but um so I posted the like the, the how my mama gave us our Christmas gifts. It's just like I cashed at you, but I gave y'all extra dollars because I know y'all y'all can't afford to like get an instant deposit. And then, and then we all and I, I mean, my brothers was texting. I'm like, why does she assume we really have no money in the in our bank accounts ever, like ever? So I was like, all right. I love it. I was like, but it works for me. If you think I'm broke, sis, send me all the money. So somebody put their cash app information in that comment in that post and then my mom ended up cash app in them are you serious but my mom the girl kept calling my like bae thank you so much bae and i don't know why that like made like her saying bae made me think of people like pulling their nails on the chalkboard mm -hmm. like i was just like yo this my, i was annoyed as shit that's my grown-ass mama who got grown-ass kids don't call my fucking mama bae bitch respect my mama as a grown-ass respect, woman respect as a grown-ass woman that just cash stepped you you hoe Bitch. Dirty bitch. You dirty. And so, like, now my mama had to get blocked off recovering party girls because of that. But <laughs> <laughs> now you now you can't be in the now comment section because now, now you blocked. Now you're blocked because <laughs> you want to be, you want to cash up randoms. Like, relax, oh Kim. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. She's ridiculous. But no, so, um, yeah, but I mean, because there's certain people who just genuinely just don't have it. And there's certain people who are users and you have to figure out which yeah. one you're dealing with. And there's certain people who who don't have it, but they lean into it, and then you still pay for them because then it's like, okay. Yeah. So you got to kind of get... I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I just I just don't like that, you know? And like I told her, I was like, I hate, I hate that, like, even though I know she doesn't need anything or whatever, but, you know, it's just like, I'm just at a point in my life where I literally pay bills and you know live i can go out to eat a couple times i can take you out to eat but anything other than that like you know bitch Ugh. until this car note is paid off for sure how long you got on your car note i got two and a half years Ooh, i got two and a half years yes i got the i got the notification last last week actually i got two and a half years left on that bitch Whew. Well, but I, but I know my shit would be is gonna be high because I have not been paying, because you know like on, Cardos they have like the actual car note amount and then the interest amount that you should pay, that you should pay. So it's like because I know back when I was even a kid, my auntie always told me to pay more than what my car note was. She and she always paid like sixty dollars more than what her car note yeah, was. Yeah. So I've only been paying paying the the, the actual bill. principal balance. Yeah. You um. So what is what what is your twenty nineteen been like? I can't remember what you said. Your, your, and I, yeah, I meant to listen to it the, the last mm -hmm. year episode. Cause I listened to it when I got in my job mm -hmm. just to hear what I said, which was one of the things was I didn't want to bartend anymore. Mm -hmm. But what I can't remember what you said exactly, but do you think you accomplished what you wanted to accomplish in 2019? I don't know. Cause I don't remember what I wanted to accomplish. <laughs> so you just started reading it. But um, it, like 2019 was a really weird year because I went from working under people to working 
as a like a like a boss and it it happened quite rapidly and because I wasn't expecting to like be in a, a managerial in a in a managerial position um when I first started working at the restaurant I wasn't even hired to be that like I was hired to assist the person who was the manager which I was cool with because you know it gave me leeway but then that person quit like two weeks after I was hired <laughs> <laughs> and then you know then everything just kind of like came on me uh, but it's been a very intense super intense year and it made me realize that one I okay I can do it but two I'm like super disorganized and I need to really uh focus in like what is it? Time management. Mm -hmm. Because I'm coming from a space where like I'm a like I'm like a creative. So like my mind is a little bit scatterbrain and I don't have I don't have a very strong sense of time management. And this past year, just like dealing with personalities like as a man see it's like a like you we've all worked in bars right mm -hmm. so you deal with a whole plethora of man of it of personalities mm -hmm. but you don't necessarily have to deal with them because you can be like i'm gonna call my manager my manager will deal with it mm -hmm. so that's me now so like that has been probably one of the biggest learning curves is dealing with personalities like, oh my gosh, dealing with personalities and it's just like having. Did you have a job at the end of 2019? I genuinely can't remember. The end, How did your yeah. 2019 end? No, my 2018. 18. How did that end? I, had, I was working at the bar. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was working at the bar. We, I, I can't stopped, remember. I, should, I meant to listen to the episode. But I stopped I can't working remember. at the bar uh, in January. Okay. Yeah, it's January of 2019. And then after I got back from Hawaii in January, that's when I started uh, the restaurant. Okay. But, but again, I didn't go into the restaurant thinking that I was going, I was just hired on just to be like an administrative help. Nothing to do with the actual operations of the restaurant, just getting it organized. But then it all came on me and like I remember like the first three months I didn't even fucking have a period because I was so stressed out and I was crying every day but you you balanced it out well Whew, barely 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 and then you know I was working with the Audio Jones campaign and then things got like hyper intense like mid-year and then I was dating this guy that I thought was the guy but it, it turned out it wasn't the guy nigga they always the guy not the guy I mean not you that's life you but, niggas always want to be the guy but not the fucking guy but it's but you oh, know but he but it was almost worse. just like it was just like you know I I knew I saw things that really kind of like raised a red flag but I didn't say anything and then like it got to the point to where it it like it because we talked about this like you know he was just really just like on this kick like I was talking about him on social media which was never the case what? oh you weren't Remember? no I mean I'm not, I'm not asking because I thought you was I'm just asking just to ask no no <laughs> like I mean like you know but before I had deleted my old Twitter I would but you know what I realized too when you be dating people and I know this sounds terrible you should tell people not to be so like the world's not about them but you post any song lyric anything, anything it anything. makes them feel, feel like you're talking about them Girl, 20, 21 Savage had a post. Um, I think it was right when he broke up with Amber Rose. And he had posted, if you cross me once, it's fuck you for life. I remember I posted that shit. I posted that quote on my Insta stories. This motherfucker thought I was talking about him. Did he do something around that time? No! No. I mean, 
the difference if he did so many no, y'all was beefing. No, but, no, but he was just like, why you think I crossed you? And it, it was that's just why like I this. try to keep my social media very unattached to me. So if I mean y'all don't follow me on Facebook, but like if you ever people yes, who follow me on yes, Facebook, I'm talking about everything. I, it'll be bad. And it don't matter. Everything. And I and most of me is me laughing at a lot of stuff because it should be so stupid. But I try to keep it as away from what I'm going through personally because I could be mm-hmm. fully beefing with a nigga mm-hmm. and I'm like mm-hmm. oh my god mm-hmm. Diana Ross in his hair mm-hmm. because I know the second I, I, uh, I quote say never you say quote never, never. Yeah. or no scrub <laughs> <laughs> somebody on my phone like no you didn't post that shit it's just like no girl like I don't have time girl like, like that was that was intense for me because it was almost like I guess I'm to the point to where now I've, I'm very comfortable with myself. I'm very comfortable with the type of person I am. I know the type of person I am. Like, you know, I'm not a malicious person. I'm not out to, like, be a fake friend or whatever. Like, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. If I don't, I'm not talk Like, I don't talk to you if I don't fuck with you. I ain't never like, did that, so. I, I don't do that. Like, if I genuinely don't fuck with you, I, I, I respect everybody, but I don't talk to you and if i have an issue with you i'm going to bring it to you and not like you know and if i don't fuck with you you know I'm, yes like if, I, if i don't fuck with you i don't I'm fuck with you like you, it's a like i just don't do that and like for him i guess he felt like i i i don't know i just felt like he like that was like a really big part of my 2019 was just trying to like say i'm not like that why are you taking social media seriously? Why are you taking what I'm saying seriously? Because I, mean, I get why people take social media seriously, but then because people do use people do use social media for evil and slick they stuff. They do, but if you know but the person, on the other half of social media, sometimes you got to know when you just dealing with somebody who just posting shit. shit. Yes, and, and I. It, it, Luckily for me, I'm in a space because I was on social media for years. Like I, I remember Facebook hit. Yeah, when I was a freshman in high school, in high school, in college, halfway through me being on social media, I got off. I didn't get back on, on social media until I was about graduating from fam, like that. Right yeah. after I graduated, I got back because then it was just like, well, they probably keep in contact with all these people. Yeah. But I got off because of that type of. Yeah. I didn't like mm-hmm. that feeling in that space, and even when I jumped, because my fam- me and my family, are, me and my cousins are kind of funny on Facebook, like. Cause my cousins Trump joke a lot. Yeah, and and my cousins have a tendency. We essentially they're from a small town. A lot of them, so they be having like drama go down. And because and we gas like it the, up. yeah, because we like yeah. jokes. We like kind of gas it up in like a very like nah for real with like gifts and memes and we're terrible tyrants. But then ninety percent of that is I don't really give a shit. It's just it's just it's, it's fun. fun. It's we're, fun. We're passing it like. It was one girl uh, that that day was a mess on Facebook. But then we end up a girl I know on Facebook now is like our honorary cousin because she jumped in the shit and she didn't have to. It's just like, but the whole time I'm laughing because it was I know it was stupid. It was just like why are we entertaining? But this? I mean, but it's I mean, but like who, why is that wrong to do? Like who cares? Because but you have to. And I said somebody said something about social media. I thought I can't remember the exact quote, but. Somebody basically was saying social media is so much drama and so negative. And if you're on social media every day, you know, what's wrong with your life? And then somebody retweeted them was like, social media is what you, you make, make it, it up. Mm-hmm. I follow people who only post their art. I follow people who only post their music. I follow people who push their agenda and with their motivational speaking or they mm-hmm. working out. Uh, you can follow Recovering Party Girls. That's basically mindless fun. You follow We The Viewers, you just gonna get a bunch of throwback TV shows and just random shit that's on TV. If you follow my my Instagram, you'll get random pictures of me and then just random pictures of just shit I like. Like, social media literally is what you make it and I want everybody going to 2020 realizing that shit. It don't yeah, have to be mess. That, that, yeah, it's, it's no mess. It, like, don't, have, it's no it mess. don't have to be. Like, I, I, do I post other people's mess? Of course I do. It's funny. People are stupid. Yes. But does it? Does your personal life have, have to, to be really mess? Yes. No. No. It's so like, easy. I just, I just don't. I never understood that and like for the longest time I was like I mean, this motherfucker chopped me up for this shit. Like, it was like, you posting about me. I'm not posting. This shit is funny. Niggas ain't shit. Do you know niggas that ain't shit? Niggas don't be shit. Yes, niggas don't be shit. 
But, but like, you were, and, and like I said, that's why, and I think for I stay, I try to stay clear, especially when I'm talking to dudes, because it's been times that it'll be a post that I just want to post, but then but I think, think about that it's like, he nah, he don't think, I'm, yeah. think, I'm talking about the way he just tried me yesterday, and it's just like, I really was over what happened the day before, but now if I'm posting to Shanti, but it's, it's a funny. problem. So, and but, that sucks. It does, but luckily for me, I'm attracted to a lot of like, Recovering party girls and how I run my regular life page isn't the same. Yeah. Isn't the same stuff anyway. Because, you know, luckily for me. But you... I'm spending 2020... Listen, if your niggas gonna feel a way... Don't follow me. Just go about your, go about your way. I don't like following yeah. niggas I fuck with on social media no way. I mean, that was one of the biggest lessons. It, so, like, it, it solves I, a lot. Like, I actually... The older nigga, so when I talk to an older nigga, he said he don't, don't have, have social no, media. I love it. I'm like, let's have sex today. Bless. Let me see your penis <laughs> right now. And I realized, and I realized, I stayed out of a lot of social media bullshit because for the for like 99 percent of it, the niggas I talk to be like 45 plus anyway. They ain't, and if they have That's a page, true. they ain't they, on, they it, like, on it. They're like. 10 followers. Yeah, they 10 followers. They can't find me because I'm so private. They don't know Recovering Party Girls exist. I be telling them I got my sweatshirt from Target. What? What's Recovering Party Girls? Oh, sweatshirt from Target. What's up? Oh, my God. Hey, that's hilarious. <laughs> what's, what's I recovering from a hangover? Oh, I got that from Walmart. What's I up? have this one guy. He has, like, maybe, like, 200 or something, 300 followers. But, like, he's like, you know, you're so funny. Like, he comes into the restaurant. He's like, you're just so funny. Mm-hmm. Am I? Am I really? Stay away. Stay away from me, motherfucker. Stay. I'm like, I'll bitch. I got more people requesting to follow me than I actually got fucking followers no. on Facebook. And all the reasons that I, like, them pages are open is because of this podcast. And the only, like, I don't post a lot of stuff because it's just like, sometimes... I look at myself and think, really, I'm really, I'm really gonna post. I post, but on th- like, but but my face, my personal Facebook is private. I'm not gonna, no, I would no, never no. open it. I'm, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you why I post though, because a lot of shit, I be liking to see. What, no, I can, hear, I, mean, I like, can totally see. I be liking it's to like see. You have these thoughts. I don't want to see like, my shit a year yeah, later. Yeah. It's like I see some shit like five years ago, and I'm just like. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I fucking died. I had a whole conversation about like crack. I was just like, sometimes I think I want to do crack because I want to see how addictive it is. It was just like the most random rant about like drugs. And I was just like, what have I been doing? And then the, the thing that made me laugh so loud was the fact that I still do that type of shit right now. Yes, It'd be like one topic. And I'd be like, but girl, are y'all sure? And then you like, look at look at Lila Rashawn Fuquay. She's out here living her best life. <laughs> I love <laughs> I'm not watching Kevin Hart's documentary. I'm definitely not watching Kevin Hart's documentary. <laughs> Fuck him and that documentary. Oh my god. Lila Rashawn, no sense. I see you looking smash, baby girl. Oh my god. I see, I see you, Lila. Lila Rashawn so Fuqua. <laughs> No, because I'm really big. And then you'd be like, did we ever discuss? Because I'm confused, did we? I mean, and again, I need to call. It's actually, I think I said I want to discuss Gwen Stefani. Thank you. I might do that tomorrow. Cultural appropriation. Like, yeah, I do. She, so, well, she's a cultural vulture, but I love her still. And I stand her. I but, like her. No, oh, I will always like Gwen Stefani. But I'm so happy I was able to enjoy her before Think Pieces. Because they would not, <laughs> my, my sis would not have had the career she had if she yes, had it right now. Right now. Yes. So thank you, Gwen Stefani, for beating the curve. She did. She did. Come she on, did Harajuku. Harajuku. <laughs> she did the, 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 the chola. chola. She did the chola thing. I yes. love Gwen. Come yeah, on, no did. doubt. I can't wait. Thank you for reminding me. I might do that tomorrow. I do that. I'm going to do it after y'all. Funny, but it's just like, people, like, you can't take. Like, to me, people cannot take social media seriously because it's just, like, little brain farts. It is. It depends who you're dealing with, though. I've always said social media is what you make it up. It is brain farts for some people. Like, for me, on Facebook, it's it's brain farts. It's it's just, like, you thinking of something. But you need to pick... You have to know the person who's posting because there are people who are being terrible and malicious on social media. And And it's a lot of people who are making... It, that one little boy just made 26 million off YouTube. It's it, social media is genuinely what you make of it. So going to 2020, if you had a terrible time and you think all your drama become on social media, it's true. Cause I literally have no drama on social media. No. It, with the exception of the people I block on recovering party girls for being ridiculous, like saying like, I mean, I really didn't like when Adriana said, okay, but, but not. 
Who are you talking to? The law. Oh, yeah, I blocked quick. I don't even play that shit with y'all. <laughs> what? No, because that bit. Oh, whoa. Learn how to disagree without cuss words. Block. <laughs> Respect the people. Lizard. Respect people. But, I mean, outside of that, it could be fun. A recovery part of girls' page is fun. Like, especially because. It's light. When, when people, because we're so open, when people start telling their, like, chlamydia and abortion stories, I'm entertained. Tell me more, yeah, sis. I don't know what, what it was. You had posted something like uh, what what we're not going to accept or what toxic behaviors or something like you're not going to accept. I enjoyed that thread. Yeah, I enjoy like... Because it made me feel like, damn, or what red flag. I think it was like red remember, flags. We, it, we but I did both. But both something, of them were really good threads. No, like, and, and those people, people were commenting. And I was I, like, damn. Wow. I, enjoy, I enjoy a very good dialogue. And I've always said that I will be as active on Recover a Party Girls as long as everybody's cool. When it yeah. starts getting like the shade room, y'all can cancel fucking Christmas. Yeah. And I feel that about all social media platforms. I enjoy it. I, I'm not gonna go to I'm not gonna go to social media and be miserable. Social yeah. media should be your outlet. It should not be your drama. True. I just I don't I don't believe and, I, and the sad part is money was the number one thing that broke up marriages. Social media has eclipsed money. So now it's social media and money. That is how powerful and how disgusting y'all can make social media. It literally that's how, trumps. That's what that's what destroyed my relationship. <laughs> social, social media. <laughs> social media <laughs> destroyed my relationship. Well, you know this. Because he really says. thought that I was always. I, I mean, but I never was. You should, but you should have been blocked his ass. I don't understand why you block him. Girl, I should have blocked him. I should have never. I should, but you know what? Stop friending was... people. I'm gonna tell you what you need to do. You know, on um, and I don't know if they do it on Instagram. Well, you're not active on Twitter anyway, and I don't. And you no. don't post much on Instagram to begin with. No. Well, you do a lot of IG stories. I do. But you know, IG stories, you can do close friends where you set up set stories yeah. and they whoever you can take him out. And then on Facebook, when you post posts, you can go in and take people out. Because, okay, so... And I, I, that's, but that's too much work for me. But if you want to yeah. do that, that's fine. No, because I had a conversation. Mind you, the, me and this guy have been, like, not together since, like, the summer. And I had made a post about guys living with their mothers. He lived with his mama? He does. But when hit, when do, when hit, hit, dog, hit dogs holler. Dog, so, wait, is listen, that the quote? Yes, hit dogs do holler. But I was actually referring to somebody else. And, mind you, again... This was like... Girl, you're talking to somebody who lived with their mama. I wasn't talking to him. I didn't know. Oh. He, so when so he, he finally... So you on a twin bed? No, ma'am. Oh. Yeah, absolutely not. Never gave it up. So when he finally revealed... Because I, I, you know, because he had been to my house a couple times. Because you couldn't go to his because he lived with his mama. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> oh. You know, I didn't know. So, you know, I was just happy that, you know, come over. I got my couch. You know, I got... <laughs> <laughs> I got my couch. I got my couch. <laughs> So, you know, I, you know, he was just like, you know, I want to come over again. He's like, I just want to come over and hold you. I said, well, you know what? I'm annoyed. I said, next time you see me, I'm going to be at your house. And he was like, what you mean you're going to be in my house? That's what you should know. I said, next time. I said, if you want to see me, it's going to be at your house and you're going to cook me dinner and, you know, all the shit. And he was just like, how can I cook you dinner in my parents' house? I said, you live with your parents. Oh, he love his parents for real. Cause you're not, you're not okay. This is gonna sound weird, okay. girl. It's some a, people who live with their parents and some people who pay for their parents' house. No, I, I think that guy. No, 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 no. Oh. There's a difference. There's a difference. Okay. There's a difference. So when I said, I said, you live with your parents, and he's like, yeah. And I was just like, so you? I said, so do you live with your parents or like y'all just like you're like you know what's what's the living arrangement? Yeah. Because I get it. Like, if you pay for something, then I don't feel like... I still don't want you... Go ahead. No. no oh, so, okay. So, this is... What so, was his situation? So, his situation is, in my opinion, I think that he lived with he lives with them for the sake of living with him. Them. And he doesn't necessarily want to move because, I mean, it's a lot of, it's just comfortable, right? He's not paying their bills. He's just taking care of his, whatever little shit he got yeah, going on. It's but, which is, which it's is cheap. nothing. It's, a, it's, it's a, cheap. It's a penny saver. Exactly. So, uh, but to how it was presented to me was like, you know, it's, it was different 
So, but how was it presented to you? Like, oh, I take care of myself, and you know, it's not this, but you can't invite me over. So if yeah. if that's genuinely the case, like if you genuinely live no, with your I parents, no, because I can't. I'm gonna tell you, I, I I know I knew a guy. He built his parents a house, mm-hmm. but because the house was in their hometown, he actually lived out of out of that that state anyway. Yeah. So when he built their home, and he he spent all his time off at the parents' mm-hmm. home, but in the parents' home, the parents had the master bedroom and bathroom. Yeah. But there was like. It was, he built a section in the house where you go upstairs mm-hmm. and there was another humongous Area. bedroom mm-hmm. and a living room. Mm-hmm. Basically like a mother-in-law just, quarters. Just like, just like a section. Like, yeah, like upstairs. Room. Yeah, like, a, right. like an apartment. That's different. And, but he paid all the bills. So then but the thing was, I could spend a night. I was but like, that's I, different. Me and his mother was but drinking listen, tea on the porch. But listen, <laughs> to me, like, okay, so a guy lives with his parents, right? Or whatever. Like, to me, like, okay, that's fine. But... How do you live with your parents? No, I mean, that's what, so, that, is, that is a big deal. Because like I'm saying, I, I, get I rolled into his mama house. His mama said, hey, I rolled upstairs listen, to the and, room. And because a guy, like, if you, he if you can't this. bring a girl over to your house and you live with your mama, that means you live, yo, you live with your mama. Nah, his mama was cooking breakfast and shit. But I'm just saying, if you, was cracking jokes. if you cannot bring a girl to your, if you live with your parents and you can't bring a girl to your mama's house, that means you live with your mother. That don't mean, yeah, that means you, you, you have to abide the, by your, their rules. Your parents are yes. the bill. Yes. Versus so, when I was holding my suitcase yes. there, he was so, putting the bill. So, and, and, and again, this is what this, I, when this is, I had made this post. I'm just like, nigga, you was telling me all this crazy shit. Like, like, so you're going to go from your mom's house to like getting married. I don't even know how you financially take care of yourself. And let me tell you I something. can't even, I can't even, I can't even I... gauge how you take care of yourself because you're telling, you're telling me that you would marry me tomorrow, but you live with your parents today. I can't even tell you, like. I don't know if you. How can how can I allow you? Can to you live? I'm, can you live how, by yourself? How old is we? He sorry. was. He's tw- he was 28, 28, 28. I think at a certain age, if you, I need to know if you can live by yourself. Like I'm not twenty one getting married. It's different when you you're a kid. Like when you're twenty one, you get married married at a college. You live with your parents into a dorm into some roommates, and then we might have lived together. I'm at an age now where I, I I'm fucking 33. Yeah, I need to know. I, and I'm dating people who are, who are my yeah, age and older. Yeah. At some point, you got to live by yourself if you if you fuck with me. And you yeah. definitely my age and older. Ain't no way in hell I want to talk to you. You ain't, you ain't lived a year or two by yourself? I'm talking about no roommate, no. You need no, to... At, by yourself. Because if I can do... And that's the whole thing. That's what I was telling him. Like, because we had gotten to this argument. He called me a shallow bitch. He, taught, he said that I was... He told me I was shallow that I and I was just thinking like I'm shallow because I don't lower my standards like that's not shallow I have a standard you have to have a car you have to have you have to live on your own and you have to have a job like that's that's just bare minimum requirements right to me that's not shallow but for him he's just like well you eat you know so now you're telling me you don't want to date me because I live with my mom well, yeah, because I'm 35 and I, I live mean, on my own. I mean, what's your mama house? Like, what can I do? Like, what kind of business? And I feel like, at the, like when people don't be having stuff, I feel like I'm their savior to, to shit. I don't really like that feeling either. Yeah. Like, I'm not saving you from whatever With, you got yeah, going on. Yeah, and he's just like, you know, I'm, I'm going to make good money. I said, but I can't marry your potential. I have to marry you right now. If that's the case, I can't fucking mm. marry your potential. What are you talking about? So... Fast forward, replay. My old nigga thought I was talking about him. But you're talking about the other broke that nigga was that talking, lived at, his, at the mama house. I was talking about another nigga that lived. And then I'm just like, whoa, okay, wow. I didn't know. Self-centered much? Wow, I didn't know. So anyway, so yeah, um, you know, needless to say, all of that, 2019 was a really interesting year. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> My 2019 was... How was yours? Mine wasn't bad. It was cool. I mean, in 2019, 
I got on probation. And it sort of reminds me that I was on probation this time last year. And I had totally forgot. I've been partying so You've been long. Blessed. You've I been forgot. blessed. You've been blessed. You've been blessed. And the only thing I do remember I said last year was I didn't want to bartend anymore. And I, that I accomplished yeah, that. You did so, that. I accomplished that with a job I really like, with a group of people I really like. Did you find out since what with, you actually do? With money I like. <laughs> I do know what I've been buying with the compliance, you fucking whores. <laughs> which I know how to I know how to do some stuff now. But I ended up getting a job that I um you like I really, it. I really, it wasn't even the the job. It's like I like the people I work with and that was a problem for me. I never liked I never liked working in an office in corporate America in a nine to five because I hated office politics. So to be in a place where people ain't on your neck and I'm salaried. So a lot of the pressure of you didn't clock in at 802. So Mm -hmm. all that's gone, which is a blessing because I've always worked, but I've never worked in the field I'm working Mm -hmm. in. So I really this that this was a gift from God. But um But you know what? My favorite episode of twenty nineteen was your interview episode. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Yo, and girl, one of the people who was on the panel, me and her are really cool. <laughs> I did that interview was so bad. That is probably one of my favorite episodes oh, of twenty nineteen. I was so distraught. Bitch, when you was Y'all really rock, like what I'm in pain. I, <laughs> I do massage hearts. I'm and y'all not even the job there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, honestly, y'all, I thought I was working for Section Eight. I don't. I just I bombed the interview so. That's how I know that was God. I bombed the interview so bad. I bombed the interview so when they called me and hired me and then told me they sat the salary. I I saw that girl repeated that salary three times to me before I even wrote it down because I thought the bitch was lying. I was like, wait, what? What? How, how much am I making? But what was the okay? What was the 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 what was the uh, question that fucked you? Um, on base was it? Oh, no, or what, SharePoint? What, no, it was what was that medical system or? Oh, when I worked oh, because I worked at the hospital before, and so <laughs> they asked me about their system, but I tried to correlate it into my system, and then I ended up telling them about massage charts in the OR. I don't know. The shit, the shit got really dark. It was dark times. It was dark times in that interview. It was very dark times in that interview. I wish you didn't replay of that shit. Because that shit was so funny. That I was, think that was a funny Y'all episode. really like, y'all like that, that I be good. in pain. Y'all, no, really, y'all Ebony, like when I be in pain. Ebony, that shit when was When I had that Tony funny. Braxton haircut, y'all really like when I be in pain. Y'all don't like when I'm I'm living my best life. Y'all like when shit's fucked up oh for me. Oh my God. Wow. Ebony, you said. This audience is terrible. <laughs> just just break it up. <laughs> just, I ain't know. I just had to listen. Somebody told me when you go in deep, go deeper, and I just yeah. So I went and had a prosthetic leg. Like what? I didn't. I didn't know what to do. Since we asked you, what was your quality? <laughs> there was like somebody just asked you, can you use Word? Can you use Word or not? I massaged hard. <laughs> so do you know how to use Excel? Oh my god. No, but and a good thing too is uh, where I work, they offer a lot of... Everything I lied about on my application, <laughs> they offer classes for. So, and this is a crazy part, right? So, just today, I got the email. They have, like, a program for, like, six months where you go to this learning center from 8 to 12 or whatever, and you learn, you know, basic Excel and, and Word shit. God bless. And so, I'm like, you well... Said, let me sign up. And got accepted. Because then I asked them, like, is this really like college applications like I gotta fill this shit out so I filled it out and then I got accepted cause she's like are you sure you're gonna be able to work from um come in from 8.30 it's like 8.30 to 12.30 something and I'm like yeah cause my manager I asked him about it and he approved it so essentially for the next four to six months I can finally learn what I said I could <laughs> And I feel like my boss was all bullshit because he, he was like, that thing that he's like, I know if you don't want to go, don't worry about it. But they got this class. I'm like, no problem. Say no more. I got it. Say less. <laughs> Say, I'm Ebony Birthday? 1986. Year I graduated, Florida a and University, 2009. Day I started working, August 26th. <laughs> that shit was so dumb. Like, wow. So do you work with HUD? Mm-hmm. I work for HUD. Do I you know Edward? Um, Edward is, is over HUD. And I only know him because I met him randomly at an event for the health Girl, because I do GLOW. I do, we do GLOW and FEMA. We, okay. work with all, uh-huh. we work with anybody who do disaster shit. 
So it's great. Like I, I literally have no complaints about. I actually, I really genuinely enjoy my job. Like I don't. And the thing is, I remember like, oh, look at God. Yeah, because I remember like people who work nine to fives and hate them. On Sunday, around a certain time, you're sick. Yeah. You're like... You get, you get anxiety. It's like, I got to go to work. I got to go to work. I got to go to work. It's still Sunday, but you're like, work, work, work. I realize that I don't even get anxiety on Sundays. They'd be like, oh, it's Sunday. Let me just get home because I don't want to be like... Tired. Tired mm-hmm. at work. So it's not like a... I got to go to work. Oh, my God. Work, mm-hmm. work, work. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. What's going to happen if I'm at work, work, work? It's not all that. And I, I, I genuinely appreciate that. And that was one of my goals. And... I accomplished it with benefits I don't pay for and Blessings. a salary. Who knew? I don't even remember my goals from last year. No, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your, what is your, your, your 2020 goals? 2020 is all about, um, I think 2019, I, I had to re like, I thought I learned lessons, but I didn't. And I think that's why I had a lot of situations get to relearn that I had to relearn to say, OK, I'm not doing that shit no more. So definitely one is selling, setting boundaries. Girl, I don't know why I'd be ready to say you said selling. I was like selling drugs. Yeah. I'm ready to go off the deep end when people be talking. But go ahead. <laughs> I don't know why. No, ma'am. My, my, theatric, <laughs> my drama in my head. Be. <laughs> no, setting boundaries is one mm-hmm. because I tend to um, be too nice to people. Uh, because, yeah, that's just a, that's my nature. I'm mm-hmm. a nice person. And I tend to kind of take on too much. Uh, So definitely setting boundaries. And then uh, being more, practicing more of my spiritual side. Because I've been praying a lot. I've been trying to meditate more. And just being, what's the word? (sighs) Relying on God to to provide me the answers that I need. Mm -hmm. Um. And not trying to, like, move ahead of him in shit. Like, I really, truly just want to just live the life that God has intended for me. I don't want anything else. I don't care about anything else. I don't care about... And when I say I don't care about money, I don't want to make it seem like I don't care about money. I do. I know that I need money to live. I need money to function. I need money to pay my bills or whatever. But I don't want that to be my... Like, I, I need that. Like, I just solely want to just depend on God. I don't want to do, I don't, I don't, I want to just truly just trust that whatever is supposed to happen for me is going to happen for me. Mm-hmm. I know that I work hard. I know that because even with this restaurant situation, like, I, I mean, it's a small business, so it could close tomorrow. So, I, in the back of my mind, I have to, and I know that, I accept that, and I don't want to stress over that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, my goal for next year is to just really just do the best that I can with this restaurant. I have an opportunity to create something from nothing. And I have an ability to, to, and like, this is a great platform for me. And I need to get organized. I know that I'm not organized. I'm not an organized person. I am a very scatterbrained. I it I'm a, tend to be all over the place sometimes. So my goal is to be more organized, to be more focused, um, because I have a lot of great opportunities. Not in like I have a I just have a lot of great opportunities, and I don't want to um, waste that. And me knowing how I am now, I don't want to, uh, I just lost my train of thought. Squatter it? Just, yes. I just, like, you know, I, I really want to take advantage. I would, I just want to jump off the cliff. Mm-hmm. If, if, like, I want to take chances, I want to, um, go past my fears, uh, but I know that. The first step for me is to really get organized, stop procrastinating, and just do shit. Because I know I have the ability to do it. I have, there's there's a space to do it. There's, it's just whatever I want to do, I know I can do it. It's just 
me organizing myself, focusing on what I need to focus on, and really just executing. That's my goal for 2020. And just maintaining my, just being myself. Like, I feel like people love to misunderstand you. People love to say you're this or you're that. And I've had people say, oh, you know, you're, you know, this is the type of person you are. In reality, it's not. Like, a lot of times I have to really, like, accept the fact that people are going to misunderstand me. Mm -hmm. People are going to misunderstand what I say. People are going to, like, try to put words in my mouth and I have to accept that instead of trying to defend myself I'm stopping that whatever you want to perceive about me perceive it I don't care because I know myself and I know the people that love me and I know the people that care about me know me so that's fine so I'm I'm not going to defend myself to people that necessarily don't know me mm-hmm. um I'm stopping that shit. Like, I don't... Like, I I feel like I'm at the point in my life where I am myself. 100%. And I accept myself. I... Like, I am what I am. The the bad parts, the good parts, I am what I am. And nothing is malicious about me. So I know that I'm, I'm a good person. And regardless of whatever... I'm a good person and I care about people. So I just have to accept that there are going to be people that are going to purposely misunderstand me because Mm -hmm. of whatever they feel towards me or whatever they want to project on me to say that I'm that, whatever. So that is something that I am really going to hold myself on is not to care about what other people think and just live in my truth, whatever my truth is. Truth, me, sis. Um, but for you, um, twenty twenty. So I want to, I want to continue to write my book, but write my book on a real schedule mm-hmm. because I start, I stop, I start, I stop, I start, I stop. I want to at least by if it's up to me, it'll be mid twenty twenty. But by the end of twenty twenty, I want to be talking to like an editor and a publisher mm-hmm. and and people to get my book on the shelves or the internet or whatever you cool kids are now doing. So that is like my professional goal of 2020. And also still grow recovering party girls and we the viewers because we the viewers is like the new baby. Oh, I forgot how hard it was. (laughs) (laughs) Like I, like in my mind, recovering party girls, I, I, I forgot there was it's a just point. because it's been so long. Yeah, I forgot there was a point where I was like, only five viewers. I forgot I forgot there was a moment like that. So, um, <laughs> and, and actually, and we the viewers is doing better than Recovering Party Girls was Did, doing at the time. Mm-hmm. But it's still like, uh, oh, okay. Mm, okay. But, so, because I think the year I was on probation, I had like a lot of free time because I really didn't go out. So I, I I keyed into a lot of different stuff and I really was working hard at growing recovering party girls and it grew and um I need to put back that effort into especially growing with the viewers, but took the, the continued growth mm-hmm. of um recovering party girls. Cause needless to say, y'all, we still ain't making money like y'all think. Mm-hmm. Um, not at all. Um <laughs> Um, so that's like the book and 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 focusing and curating or whatever is is the professional yeah. goal. Um, I love my job, so I do because and my job pays the bills and I like promotions and I like to win at what I'm doing. I do want to um, do better time management because mm-hmm. I'm posting throughout the day, and I think it takes away from what I could be learning learning at my job. So I do need to get a better schedule of the stuff I pull for social media and then work. Like, like, it's like I'm pulling stuff while I'm at work. And it's not like I'm pulling shit out of thin air. It's like I got to, I'm searching the internet and I got to read. And if I don't, and I'm thinking it's funny, Mm -hmm. make sure I'm not pissing you bitches off. 
Jesus Christ. Make sure the caption don't say nothing too much because I'm about to cuss y'all out. So I do want to get on a schedule where um, I pull stuff and then I can post stuff at like a time Mm -hmm. versus where I feel like my whole day is like of me weaving work assignments with that with Mm -hmm. with social media I don't want to say assignments because it's not like somebody designated to me but this is kind of the same thing because if I don't post y'all cussing me out when I do it's just a lot so I want to make sure I uh and I'm pretty good at time management I don't know how I'm we but sometimes I just don't want to scroll through it it's weird but to get a better time management so I can capitalize on learning at my real job that pays the bills and still, still post because I don't mind posting and I, I am very highly entertained. Um, I think my third goal will be to learn how to swim. I say this Come every year, but I really, the thing about it is I like water sports. You sound like water. War, water <laughs> sports? <laughs> what, what's her? Sports. You like water sports? <laughs> water, what's her? Sports. I like them. And I just cannot do all that type of stuff. I, I genuinely cannot swim to save my fucking life. So I do want to learn how to swim because if I will be the girl that jumps off the boat and want to do stuff like that and not knowing how to swim really just aggravates me because I know I will be but the girl who's extra. Simple. Well, I'm 33 now. My body's stiff and I ain't got time for all that. Now I'm about to be in some floaties you with a fucking float. five-year-old. Well, with a five-year-old, it's not fun. But yeah. I do... And I, the thing is, I could, I, I need to, because uh, I know a lot of people offer it, so I need to actually just look into it and start taking my ass to swimming lessons. It's, it, it's that's really beneficial. Yeah, it, that's really a me thing and not like a... Because man, man, I guess it maybe if it, a tsunami is coming, can you survive a tsunami? Um, But I told you, like, you know... Yeah, I know. And never mind. Like, never I, mind. I, I, wanna, I just want to let you die. Let you die. Let me die. <laughs> if it's not a bird attack... If a, once again, I just need this to be documented. If there's a bird attack, a new, I watched the movie. There was a movie called Birds Attack. I know how to survive a bird attack. So if there's a birds attack, please come find me because I'm in my apartment. Now, if anything else happens that's traumatizing, zombies. I'm dead. Oh, bitch, if zombies come, please pass my house. I'm dead. I'm letting whatever needs to kill me, kill me. Bird box, whatever I got to look at, I'm looking. I already told y'all this. I told y'all this last year. <laughs> I, y'all open my eyes. I don't play that shit. It's just certain shit I'm not playing. Oh man! But if birds attack, y'all holler at me because I'm I'm still alive in the house. You I'm, fighting? I, it's not even yeah. fighting. I, I just I know how to survive it. I can't tell y'all because we all can't survive. Because if I tell y'all how we survive, the birds gonna figure out how to that bring they in. Know. Yeah, that they know that you know. Yeah, because I might not be the first person they try to attack. I might be like ninth in line, so then they gonna know the the path. So if birds attack, I'm alive in my house eating chili, watching TV. Right. If anything else happens, apocalypse, zombies, um, floods, um, her, anything else, I'm dead. Birds attack? Gone. Here. No, birds attack? Here, no, bitch. Here. Get your life. Um, that's funny. Okay, so, so that's about it. 2020. What, and, it, what? and it just, you know, I'm still in therapy about niggas, so hopefully that'll commence. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what was your greatest lesson of 2019? Um, that, and it's going to sound cocky, but I genuinely could do anything if I really put my mind to it. I mean, that's really, it's just, it's a weird thing. Um, I decided I wanted a job, a real, a, a quote unquote real job, and I had a real job in like two months. She lied on her resume and, and You and know, what life, life comes at you I fast. Like, it. even just, like, with podcasting and things yeah. like that. It's just, when I decided certain stuff, it was just like, we need merchandise. Boom. Merchandise shows up. It's just, when I decide something. Now, the problem is deciding it, because sometimes I, I fuck around. Because it's a lot of weight when you, like, are, are, is, is a, are aggressive is, I'm very aggressive with myself. And because I know I'm aggressive with myself and goals and stuff, sometimes it's easier for me to kind of shy away from stuff because I don't want to put that pressure on myself because then it becomes you have to finish it. Mm -hmm. If you don't finish it, Mm -hmm. the world would end. Mm -hmm. Zombies will come. Whatever goes on in my mind. Yeah. So um, I realized, like, I just need to figure out exactly what I want to do Mm -hmm. and get it done. And then I also need to really figure out... 
like I, we just had a conversation. I well, not we, but I had a conversation with some friends uh, Saturday, and we were talking about dating. And I kept telling, them, I was like, the reason I don't date is because I know I like fuck boys. And it was like, who says that? I'm like a person who knows they like fuck boys. And it's like, what? And I'm like, I was like, I need to figure. I need to get to the end of this journey very fast because time is coming in very fast on mm-hmm. me. And I can't be the 40 year old at like fuck boys. Mm-hmm. I got to figure that out before I'm 40. Mm-hmm. So that's like my 2020 goal to continue to not ser- take people seriously because I know innately how I'm drawn to like a certain type. So, and I mean, maybe my story is to be tiny and TI. If that is, no. <laughs> if that is, I'm okay with it. But I just want to see, I want to try other paths before we get there. Yeah. I don't know, because I can't be too boring either. Okay. Yeah. That's just, true. Guess, guess, That's true. It got to be a bit of a wild card. I like my hair and my niggas the same way. Wild. Amen. <sighs> so I, that's yeah. that. I mean, the greatest lesson. I can do anything. And I mean, and I can I can accomplish goals if I put my mind to it. Um, the worst thing about 2020, I realized, is I really do like right. fuckboys. And that 2019. Was that. 2019 was I really like boys, And I was just like, oh, okay. But that wasn't nothing nobody hadn't told me before. I mean, that wasn't nothing I didn't know about myself. My therapist kind of said that. And I was just like, oh, I guess what you you're know, saying. I had my uh, car. I I still, so I've been into astrology lately. Well, like, more so lately than whatever. But... I had this girl read my cards, and so she was just like, you have an addiction to toxic people. And I was like, oh, God! Ah!" And it literally made me sick, because she was really reading me for filth. And she was just like, you have an... It's it's almost like you know you that these people don't deserve you or whatever, but you still gravitate towards them. And then you still deal with them, even though you you know better. You still don't do better. And the thing is, I do good with friends. I don't. It's just niggas. I do, I pick perfect friends. And the problem too with me too is, if I realize we can't be perfect friends, I'll just back away. I pick really good, nice people to be friends yeah. with. Yeah. It's just my innately. It's this, just like. Come here, but you boy. know, even when even when she told me that shit, so I started thinking, I'm like, damn, that's deep. That cuts yeah, that, me. That, that hurts. I'm that bleeding. Hurts. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. <laughs> like, wow, wow. I am addicted to toxicity. Why? Okay, so let me, let me, let me, let me deep dive. Did your parents fight a lot when you was a kid? My parents fought a lot, and then it's just like. I and and it wasn't until I started looking at my parents and I started looking at my grandparents, right? Like I grew up with my mom's side of the family. I didn't know my dad's side of the family. Like I didn't meet them until later in life, but for the majority of my childhood, it was my mom's side of the family and my grandpa is this patriarch. Like he's this like you know, he is this enigma that is like, you know, whatever he says goes and it's standard for all the family. But this nigga is a fuck nigga. Like he really is. Like, you know, I'm not talking shit. Like it's 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 facts, okay? And like as I started going into that and like trying to understand, okay, well, where does this where does this come from? And I'm like, wow. Like, my grandpa was a fuck nigga. And then I see how my dad is. My dad is a fuck nigga. Oh, my God. This is why I'm addicted to fuck niggas. Because this is the example. Mm -hmm. The example has been set for me. Like, it's either this or this. And, And I'm so used to that. I've been so drawn to that my whole life. And because I just never just kind of woke myself up out of this whatever... It's like, God damn. Like, I get it now. So, you know, for me, it's just like, I don't want to be in these relationships where I have to overcompensate myself or dim myself down to make somebody else feel better. Yeah, but that's why I took a break. Like, I 
I took a break from seriously dating. Not that I don't go out with people and not that I'm not, you know, sexually active. I just, I took a break in spaces of, because I like to love and I like to, I'll key yeah. into one person. If, if you give me a second, I, I could key in. And I stopped keying into people because I realized it was something I was keying. Like, I, and I always say this, I live my dating, I live my relationship life like flavor of love. If I can't win, I don't want it. So it got to be some other girl. It had to be, he had to be seeing somebody else. It had to be a baby mama. Yeah. It had to be an ex-girlfriend that wanted to be with him. It had to be somebody that I could win. If I couldn't win, I didn't want it. It's like, what's the point? I don't want to date you. And nobody wants you. And I'm like, <laughs> that's terrible. Who who goes into their dating life trying to win? Mm-hmm. That is always going to be a problem. So that's why I slowed down. So to continue the path of fixing that, you know, because going through relationships, wanting to win. Because the thing I realized, too, I don't think I if I would have won, I don't know if I would have been satisfied. Cause the, the because thing it's was, going to be something, because it's never going to be sad. You're never going to be I, satisfied. And I, I wouldn't be satisfied if I completely won either. So part of them needs to still roam and mm-hmm. be these cool niggas or these fuck niggas or these niggas that's, you know, popular or whatever the case might be in my mind. But... So that's like the goal to to figure that out cuz that's Amen. some deep city city deep, deep seated, seated mm-hmm. issues cuz I don't think it it doesn't have to be that difficult. I think I think there can be a healthy balance of the cool kid that's not going to break your heart every 5 seconds. Cuz I can I'm a cool girl that won't break your heart. So clearly you got to be a nigga who's or equal. just be yourself. Like I just need a nigga that can can make it on his own that can lead my household yeah. honey because i am an alpha yeah. female i am a supremely alpha female and god damn it if you cannot financially be stable enough to to be on your own that goes without saying you talking sweetie, to me sweetie 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 y'all know how i can't I feel give about no shit. benefits of the doubt sweetie y'all know how sweetie. i feel about a coin and I, and I really do believe, I know people people always get on me, I believe in male and female roles. You can't tell me you're the man of the house and you ain't making more yeah, money, money than me. And not even, I don't play no, that fucking shit. But it's not even, if you, you can't tell me you're going to be the man of the house, but you're not the man of your own house you, at that moment. You can't, well, I, well, well yeah, if you live with your mom, of course, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, with your mom, but you can't, listen... If we double my salary, we weigh into no, but we don't have we to. Weigh, yeah, but no. I'm saying if you, we double my salary, we, we're living a good life. So meaning, if you make as much as me, we're fine. You still need to make more than me, though. Like I, I'm a type of person you just do, and I and nobody. You know what I realized too? It's a lot of people make you try to feel bad for shit like that. Yeah, I stopped feeling bad. People was calling me a gold digger since I've been in high school. Bitch, call it what you want. I, I'm just, I'm not gonna feel bad about wanting a provider. I'm just, I'm not. I'm not going to feel bad. And if you're mad at, about it, you're not a well, provider. And if you're mad about it, you're, you're not, a not a provider. And you're a bitch that's paying your nigga rent. Me. And I can't, if you pay your nigga rent, and he cheat on you, bitch, you still wow. in hell. Because he's cheating on you. A clown. Wow, clown. Put the makeup on, bozo. Golly. Because it, it, it be them hoes. It be, it be them. Captain Steve. I, I, can make my, I can make my own money. I don't even, well, okay. Well, sis, I can make my own money too, but let me tell you something about this here girl. I don't want to spend it. I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to spend I, my own it. Money. We've been doing this podcast for what? Almost three years. I don't want to spend it. Y'all know how I feel about a coin. I'm a very generous person, and any of my friends will tell you, like, I'm I'm damned to be ready to pick up all tabs. But one thing you're going to do. You ain't going to pay for a nigga tab. Yeah, I'm not. Whatever. You got me fucked up. And if I ain't going to pay for it. And if I do, that's after he done flew me somewhere. That's me just feeling like, you know what? And then he gave me his card to close out the tab. I don't, I don't know. I don't play some shit. I just don't play. That broke shit, I just don't play. Bitch, you can't be cheap and, oh my God, cheap and you a cheater? Cheap (laughs) and you beat me? (laughs) Cheap and you can't pick me up? Cheap and you still want to go over to my house? Cheap and you want your balls in my face? Wow. Wow, cheap, and you put your book, and then that be the thing. You it be them cheap niggas that want you to do everything sexually. What? <laughs> they be like, you into this? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's not your tax bracket, bitch. 
Certain niggas ain't getting listen. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Listen, bro, niggas don't get good sex. I'm not doing. Uh, y'all gonna get missionary. I'm uh, charging niggas. All 2020. All 2020. <laughs> Cheap niggas get missionary, <laughs> and that's because I wanted some dick. <laughs> fuck is wrong with y'all because cheap niggas because cheap niggas and homeless niggas always want you to do freaky shit and always want to fuck it's just like because you cheap and always, you broke yes always that nigga that nigga who live his mama's ready to blow your back out of your bedroom girl was he couldn't ready ready ready, ready. i said sir slow down ready slow down but you had to beep the horn at the driveway so he can run down no get the fuck out of here girl the fuck you want not this no the fuck you want <laughs> I would not ride your dick. I had to, I had to, I had to hide the horn. Fuck you in the neighborhood. I, I, I had to, I had to hunt the horn at the neighbor house so you can come down. No, you're not gonna get. No, you crazy as hell. No, I'm not gonna sit on my fucking tippy toes. I can't get. I can't. Yeah, you want me on my tippy toes? Wow. Whoa. The disrespect. The disrespect. Let me the tell y'all something. Not, not in 2020. Not. Let me it's tell a whole something. new decade. Get your life. Bitch, but we canceling niggas. Not nah, at, at the fucking neck. Look, them niggas don't even stand a chance. Listen, y'all barely stand a chance in 2019. I was doing a good job. <laughs> but that is that on that. I hope y'all had a good new year. Oh, why is that going? Sorry. Can't flush, girl. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay, so let me tell y'all. So I went to work this morning. I leave for work around like... I think I, leave, I walk out of my house at 6 a.m., right? This is random. I'm sorry. So... Uh, when I was walking out, when I got to the other side of my apartment, it was like flooded, like like Harvey flooded. Like it wasn't even that much water when Harvey came to Houston. I was like, damn, somebody water pipe must bust. But I was on my way to work and it was cold outside and I really just didn't give a fuck. But I was looking, I was just like, that's a lot of water. So I go to work. I get an email from my um my landlord and she's like, hey. Uh, we had to cut off the water. This was at like 9.30. She said they had to cut off the water because um, a pipe had bust, which I wasn't shocked about because I seen all the water. So when I got home, I expected the water to be uh, fixed because I get home at like 5.30, 6 o'clock. I get home, I come in, no water's fucking working in my apartment. I call the front office and they're like, well, it might be fixed at midnight. And see, I'm a person, like, I'm a creature of habit. When I come in my house, I literally take off my shoes, take off my belt, take off my wig, take off my bra, and then I cut the shower on, and then I'm, like, on the phone as the shower's running up for no reason. And then I jump in the shower because I'm a hypochondriac, and if I don't take a shower right when I get in the house, I still think I'm dirty. So, needless to say, my water still don't work. A bitch can't flush the toilet. I, I, can't, I can't wash nothing. I, I don't, my dishes is dirty. My coochie dirty. It's just a lot going on because I ain't, it, the, the water apparently is whatever. But either way, happy, 20, happy, 20, like, happy new year. <laughs> Had to get that out. I'm so mad about that shit. Oh, you put it on wrong. I did, uh, did I? No, I don't like that wig. Okay, never mind. Y'all have a good 2019. No, I had to fix that one. I ain't tell you what happened. Uh, okay, happy. I like I've been blown out. Hey, hey, Adriana's trying on my, my wig because they're on all my doors. <laughs> So happy 2019. Yeah. Happy 2019, I'm, motherfuckers. I'm happy y'all got y'all episodes. Sorry it took so long. Sorry. But we back. Bye.